Yo. What up, dog? I'm Amy Ross, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about my theme from Wuthering Heights, The Moors. First off, yes, that is a princess poster behind me. Second off, don't judge me. If it counts for anything, it is my sister's. So, what are the moors anyway? The moors are a type of habitat in the temperate grasslands that have hardly any vegetation, heavy fog, and much rainfall. They can be potentially dangerous with pits and deep swamps. Much of the moors are very infertile. What was that? Where's the first time the reader learns about the moors in the novel? Hold up. Let me tell you what's good with the moors. As the novel begins, Lockwood fears walking through the moors at night. As time proceeds, Catherine and Heathcliff spend much of their childhood on the moors, which symbolizes their wild inclinations. By the end of the novel, both Catherine and Heathcliff are buried on the moors because of their liking for them and for the adventure that they represent. Yo, Amy, could you possibly tell me how in the novel the protagonist Heathcliff resembles the moors? Don't worry. I got you, boo! Heathcliff is undomesticated, full of unrestrained passions. He is untamable, just like the moors. Just like Heathcliff, this wildness is mirrored in Kathy's nature, but she tries to repress that very part to which Heathcliff gives free reign to. True. So you said that after they die, both Heathcliff and Catherine are buried on the moors. But how is Heathcliff and Catherine's love symbolized through the moors? Let me tell you. The moors are dangerous. They're difficult to navigate through, and it's easy to lose yourself. Just as the moors represent danger, the love between Catherine and Heathcliff endanger everyone associated with them through their recklessness and become more difficult to figure out. For you Star Wars fans, it's just like Anakin's and Padme's love. Explosive and dangerous to anyone involved. So what else do the moors represent, Amy? The moors represent the wild side of things. They are a wet place where freedom reigns for both Heathcliff and Kathy, where they can do as they please. I meant Catherine, but Kathy as well. That's all folks, join me next time. That's all, folks. Join me next time. See you later. Bye.